Network, streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now, this weekend. Good evening and thanks for joining us at 5.30. I'm Michael Germain. Jeremy is off today. With the government on the brink of a shutdown this week, as Congress remains at an impasse on a funding deal, federal departments and agencies have begun the mandatory process of planning to bring non-essential functions to a halt. Congress now has just six days to pass a spending bill to fund the government and a small group of GOP hardliners vow not to fund the government without massive spending cuts. Rob Kirkpatrick has the latest developments. The clock is ticking on Congress to pass a deal that will fund the government, but with less than a week to go, there's still no deal in sight to avert a shutdown. During a call with the Republican conference Saturday afternoon, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy pushed members to rally behind a short-term spending bill. I think we've made some progress to those who have been holding up passing the rule to get onto these bills. President Joe Biden weighed in on the quickly approaching shutdown deadline over the weekend, calling on House Republicans to, quote, start doing the job. Funding the government is one of those basic responsibilities of Congress. And it's time for the Republicans to start doing the job America elected them to do. Should Congress fail to pass a short-term spending bill to keep the proverbial lights on, a shutdown could have enormous impacts on all Americans, which both sides agree would be harmful. We're going to make sure that we can get a vote done, and uh, that means getting this, the support of both sides uh, to the table. We're going to do whatever we need to do to do our job to keep the government open because our district, uh, and Josh's as well. We, our district wants us to keep America running. But that path has proved difficult. A number of GOP hardliners are opposed to any short-term spending solution. Their Republican colleagues drawing a line, calling out those responsible for the failed negotiations. The arsonists have lit their house on fire. They're whining about their house burning. They're going to want credit for putting the fire out, and then they're going to set up a GoFundMe to get paid for what happened. I'm Rob Kirkpatrick reporting. Congress has until midnight of October 1st to pass a funding plan. Minnesota. Using the future track model here, showing that scattered shower and thunderstorm chance moving more towards the east of the lacrosse area as we go out into the beginning of your Monday. But there'll be more shower and thunderstorm chances later Monday afternoon. Look at that. Some showers and thunderstorms popping up here right around 3, 4 o'clock with temperatures getting up to around 70 degrees with the heat of the day. Those showers and thunderstorms are going to be moving off towards the east. But again, we keep that shower and thunderstorm chance through Monday night, going on here into the beginning of your Tuesday as well. Rainfall amounts could be approaching a half inch and three or three quarters of an inch for those areas that see the more persistent shower and thunderstorm activity, but you don't have to go too far away into portions of northeastern Iowa where rainfall amounts are a little bit less. So again, we all stand the chance for seeing some raindrops, but there will be some areas that also have dry weather too. Minnesota has been taking steps toward going green since recreational marijuana became legal earlier this summer. Thursday, Governor Tim Walz named the first ever leader of the Office of Cannabis Management, Esme Murphy, talked with hemp entrepreneur Erin Dupree about her plans as the state's cannabis czar. As Claire said, my name is Erin Dupree. Minnesota native Erin Dupree will take over the $151,000 a year job on October 2nd and lead the creation of a new state agency. So the first thing that we need to tackle is people, right? The agency, we need about 150 people to be able to make this run correctly. Um, Dupree is currently the vice president of Apple Valley-based Lunacy Cannabis Company, which markets hemp and cannabis-derived products. She's in the process of selling it and other businesses before she starts. So let's not mince words. We know that within the first year of legalization, Minnesota is going to do about a billion dollars in revenue in this industry. Um, but let's also look at the fact that this is a giant startup. Um, and I have done no less than a dozen of those. Um, my experience does translate. The law establishes an 18-month window to set up this new state agency, which will oversee the regulation and sale of cannabis. Dupree says she plans to meet all expected deadlines, which would mean having this agency up and running by early 2025. Dupree declined to give specifics about what she might do, saying she hasn't started her job yet. She says Minnesota will benefit from other states' experiences. We don't have to reinvent the wheel here. You know, we're lucky as the 23rd state to legalize. We can look back on the other 22 states, look and see what's been good and what's not been good. 
The Office of Cannabis Management will also regulate medical cannabis as well as lower potency hemp edibles. Their mission is to promote the common good and general welfare of the community. This weekend marked the world's biggest cranberry festival in the United States. The Warren's Cranberry Festival celebrated its 50th anniversary this weekend. The festival offered 300 flea market booths, 100 food vendors, and 100 farm market booths. Miss America 2023 winner Grace Stanky says it feels great to be supported by the community. And coming back as Miss America is really a full circle moment. It's a way to give back to this incredible community that has supported me throughout my journey and also give them the, the awesome attention that they need because this is the 50th anniversary of Cranfest and that is worth celebrating. That part of American history. If you weren't able to make it out to Cranfest this year, it will be back next year on the last full weekend in September. It's rare to find someone you share a birthday with, but it's even more rare to find a friend born on the same day and in the same hospital. Grail Berg and Betty Glomstad grew up in Whitehall and Arcadia, respectively. They met each other later in life at the dance hall. That's when they discovered they were born in the same hospital on the same day, hours apart. The pair celebrated their 80th birthday with good food, good company, and dancing this afternoon. Both agree that the secret to a long life is to stay active. Ah, uh, music and dancing probably does a lot. Yeah, uh, music and dancing. <laughs> yeah. We enjoy. Uh, we enjoy both. Yeah. Berg adds that her 80s came a lot faster than she thought they would. Well, happy birthday, Grail and Betty, from the entire News 8 crew. Coming up on News 8, the American Red Cross has declared a national blood shortage. We'll explain why it's important to donate blood when you can. But first, the writer's strike may be nearing an end. The latest developments in negotiations next. Stay with us, we'll be right back. The National Home Furnishing Sale has come to Home Furniture. Get up to 15% off sale prices with instant factory rebates. Plus, get free shipping and free financing on purchases of $4.99 or more. The National Home Furnishing Sale at Home Furniture. Attention homeowners, first we started with 50, now we're looking for 30 homeowners who need a new bath or shower. We want to evaluate our custom bathing solutions for safety and convenience. Call Mad City Baths, Wisconsin's number one remodeler and trusted local source for American-made baths and showers installed in as little as one day. And with our price lock guarantee, we'll guarantee your price for one year. Now 30 homeowners will save. Receive free installation of a new bath or shower. Zero down, zero payments, and zero interest for 24 months. Senior and military discounts plus call during this program and receive a free $50 Walmart gift card with your in-home estimate. From La Crosse, Eau Claire, in western Wisconsin, call with zip code and location to qualify, 715-941-1303. That's 715-941-1303. The 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline is here and ready to help. Anyone in Wisconsin can call, text, or chat to get connected to a trained 988 counselor. Trained counselors are here to support anyone experiencing a suicidal, mental health, or substance use crisis. You can also contact 988 if you're concerned about someone. 988 is confidential and free to all Wisconsin residents. 988 24-7. Call, text, chat. Here to support you. It's Home Seasonal Concepts Porch and Patio Season Ending Sale. Get up to 50% off regular prices on porch and patio sets, fire tables, and more. Like this Baja Porch Set for just $11.97. The Season Ending Porch and Patio Sale. Now at Home Seasonal Concepts. The ongoing strike between Hollywood writers and the studios could be nearing the end. The WGA and the association representing the studios are set to resume talk Sunday and industry trades report they are close to a deal. Bradley Blackburn has more on where things stand. There is no Hollywood ending yet, but the stage is set for a potential deal between the Writers Guild of America and the Hollywood Studios. Late Saturday, the two sides issued a short joint statement saying they'll meet again Sunday. We're hearing that they're close, but that um, perhaps not as close as some of the press reports 
uh, which have suggested that it's all down to the drafting by the lawyers. Variety and other trade publications report the studios have presented their best and final offer for a new three-year contract. It comes after four days of negotiations that reportedly included the heads of Disney, Warner Brothers Discovery, Netflix, and Universal. This was not the point they wanted. They thought they were going to, I think on both sides, thought pretty much they're going to have this over by Thursday. It dragged a little bit into Friday. Now it's dragged further. The writer's strike started in May and actors joined in July, with SAG-AFTRA launching its own strike. Together, they have frozen the entertainment industry. For writers, sticking points come down to residual pay, staffing in writers' rooms, and the use of artificial intelligence. I do hope that I can get back to work and um, that it's over soon, but only with a fair contract. These demands look at a world that has changed dramatically over the past decade, an industry that's changed dramatically. Hollywood insiders say a deal with writers could help pave the way for actors. The Screen Actors Guild has said the studios will not meet with them to negotiate. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. By some estimates, the strike has cost the U.S. economy more than $5 billion. Coming up on News 8, in the midst of a blood shortage, one long-term donor shares why he keeps coming back to save lives. The biggest event in King Furniture's history, a total liquidation of all stock items, over $2 million of quality name brand furniture priced for immediate liquidation. We're sacrificing all our inventory so we can complete a total renovation. Don't miss the King Furniture total liquidation sale going on now. It was a swift and uh, they cleaned up pretty good after themselves, so no complaints. With more than 50,000 satisfied customers, Mad City Baths is your trusted source for durable, high-quality baths and showers infused with microbe and antimicrobial protection for easy cleaning, expertly installed in as little as one day. And now 30 homeowners will receive these special savings. Free installation of a new bath or shower. Zero down, zero payments, and zero interest for 24 months. Senior military discounts. Plus, if you call Mad City Baths now during this program, you'll receive a free $50 Walmart gift card with your in-home estimate. From La Crosse, Eau Claire, in western Wisconsin, call with zip code and location to qualify, 715-941-1303. That's 715-941-1303. With Chevy Silverado and Silverado HD, you can take on the mountains, or you can move them. With the power of up to 36,000 pounds of max available towing and the confidence of an available 13.4-inch diagonal touchscreen, whatever your mountain, there's a Silverado for you. Get 0% financing plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all Silverado 1500 pickups. Plus, get $750 cash allowance on this Silverado. Visit hometownchevy.com. Windows are a lot like car tires. They all look the same, but they definitely don't all perform the same. Take our Starmark composite window, available exclusively at Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions. This window is 12 times stronger than vinyl, 2,000% more airtight, and 40% more energy efficient, all at a price less than what many companies charge for vinyl windows. Don't settle on your new windows. Insist on the best windows you can buy. Receive up to 25% off your new windows with our cooperative savings plan. It's the biggest event in King Furniture's history, a total liquidation of all stock items, over $2 million of quality name brand furniture priced for immediate liquidation. We're sacrificing all our inventory so we can complete a total renovation. Don't miss the King Furniture total liquidation sale going on now. Stories are told on our Instagram at WKBT News 8. Or you can always find us at News8000.com. The American Red Cross recently declared a national blood shortage, citing a nearly 25% drop in the blood supply since last month. Blood banks around the country excuse me, are hoping more people get the message and get out and donate. Sean Chitness introduces us to a California man who keeps coming back to save lives. On a recent visit to the Vitalant Donation Center, Dennis Walter marked giving blood 300 times. It saves lives. I mean, people that need blood need it now. So, and it's easy for me to do, so I do it. He's been giving blood for 30 years. At one point, he was donating every two weeks. 
He can no longer give platelets, but still comes in once a month to give plasma. Well, I've asked that question several times, and uh, they say as long as I'm healthy, I can keep coming. He says it's nothing to be afraid of and enjoys the experience spending an hour catching up on his favorite shows while in this chair. I know it's helping somebody, and I know that whenever they need it, they can't go out and solicit it. It's got to be there. It's got to be on the shelf. In fact, Vitalant has a goal of storing up to four days of blood on its shelves, but it's already seen that supply go well below that level this summer. The need is constant. You know, as fast as people are donating, it's going out to hospitals. There's always somebody in need of blood. So many donations over so many years has truly added up for the blood bank. I've been very blessed in life and I need to give back. This is one way to do it. Dennis has likely helped to save thousands of lives and had an impact on many more family and friends grateful to see their loved ones survive. Sean Chitness, CBS News, Fairfield, California. According to the Red Cross, someone in the U.S. needs blood every two seconds. Good evening there, folks. Let's start off here with your bottom line. We'll keep the shower and the thunderstorm chances through the overnight. Rain chances will linger Monday going on into Tuesday, possibly even on into Wednesday. Then things turn dry and mild, very mild as we head out later into the next week. Let's use the future track model here to pinpoint when we can expect the chance for more of those showers and those thunderstorms starting off here 10, 11 o'clock at night, right along the Mississippi River and points to the east of La Crosse. Stay in that better chance of that shower or that thunderstorm. But we all have that chance chance of rain through the period here going again into Monday going into Tuesday won't be washouts all the time there will be dry periods as well but that chance is always there so we head towards Monday morning maybe that's one of those dry spots here according to the future track model temperatures upper 50s right around 60 to start your day could have some patchy fog as well then watch what happens as we go Monday afternoon so we head towards 1 2 3 o'clock in the afternoon notice another band of showers and thunderstorms developing from La Crosse to Eau Claire and a Marshfield stretching down in into portions of southwestern Wisconsin, little, a little bit lesser of a chance of shower and thunderstorm activity over northeastern Iowa as a little dry air gets pulled in from the south and from the west. And we'll keep that periods again. Look at that swirl over La Crosse, Marshfield, down to Madison as we carry on from your Monday night going on into the beginning of your Tuesday. More reinforcing periods of showers and those thunderstorm chances. Rainfall abounds. Where the rain does fall could be half inch, three quarters of an inch. There will be some dry areas though as well. So don't bank, don't take a photo of this. Half inch to three quarters of an inch would be about as much as we could receive with again, some spots being dry as well. We need those raindrops. Again, our friends at the drought monitor updated as of September 19th. We still have that extreme drought across much of the area. So again, all those raindrops that we can get <laughs> We will take. Let's plan your Monday here starting off right around 60 degrees. Again, could see some patchy fog. We have that shower chance. We have that isolated thunderstorm chance carrying on into your Monday afternoon. Could again see some thunderstorms redevelop as we head towards the later afternoon hours on your Monday. Weather system sticks around here as we go Tuesday into Wednesday. Then look at that turning dry and very, very warm as we carry out here towards the end of next week. Beautiful. Fall photo here. Thanks so much, Peggy Sue, sending us this photo from southwestern Wisconsin. Beautiful fall weather. Again, is going to be moving into the area as we head into the later part of next week, going on into next weekend. Just look at that. Temperatures upper 70s to right around 80 degrees, and then some slight rain chances as we start the next work week. Coming up in sports, a great day in Green Bay. The Packers gave the home fans something to cheer for, but it didn't come without a scare. Kate has the highlights after the break. The 2023 Fall Home Show going on now at the Board Store Home Improvements. High quality at a low price on windows and doors, kitchens and bathrooms, siding, decks, sunrooms and flooring. Don't miss it. Improve your well-being and comfort with a new walk-in tub or shower from Mad City Baths. It's the safe, smart solution for bathing that more homeowners are turning to. With convenient shelves, grab bars, and a beautiful shower door infused with microband for easy cleaning. 
And with our price lock guarantee, we'll guarantee your price for one year. And now 30 homeowners who need a new bath or shower will receive these special savings. Free installation of a new bath or shower, zero down, zero payments, and zero interest for 24 months. Senior military discounts plus call Mad City Baths now. Last chance to call during this program and receive a free $50 Walmart gift card with your in-home estimate. From La Crosse, Eau Claire in Western Wisconsin, call with zip code and location to qualify. 715-941-1303. That's 715-941-1303. You're tuned in to Better Halves. Mike, what are you looking for? Skip, I'm not getting older. I'm getting better. I still got big plans for my life and my Medicare. I know exactly what you want from Medicare. Same as all the other guys. Me! Hey, Mike, I'm Sheila from Security, and I'm just like you. In fact, I'm from your neighborhood, and I've got a Medicare plan that treats you like you. Did it just get better in here? Are you looking for a high paying career without any experience? Chart Industries has the opportunity you've been waiting for. Starting wage $30 per hour, highest pay in the area, guaranteed 40 hours, so much more. If you are making less than $60,000 and want a healthy work life balance, apply at jobs.chartindustries.com today. That's jobs.chartindustries.com. Covering all of the exciting action from your community. Here's News 8 Now Sports. It's NFL Sunday, and we had a couple of afternoon games for both the Packers and the Vikings. Minnesota entered today without a win and facing a potential 0-3 start, while Green Bay makes their home debut with no Aaron Jones, no Christian Watson, two injuries on the offensive line, and no Jair Alexander on defense. All right, let's go to Lambeau Field. Jordan Love trying to continue his hot, hot start in front of the home crowd, but it was New Orleans striking first, third and five, and Derek Carr finding the former Packer, Jimmy Graham, in the end zone. Saints take a 7-0 lead. Packers offense with a slow start, punting here early in the second quarter, and there's not a lot of reasons I would be showing a punt. This time, it's not a good thing for the Packers. Rashid Shahid fielding the punt with room to work, and he's fast. Nobody's going to catch him. The Packers special teams with a bit of a mistake. 76 yards. It's now 14-0 Saints. Packers offense had flashes, but on third and nine, Love feeling the pressure. It looks like he got the pass off, but the refs blew the whistle dead, and a costly sack means no field goal. Saints kick a field goal to close out the half and Packers trail by 17 going into the break. Third quarter and the Packers defense coming up big. Third and nine and Rashawn Gary is gonna bring down Carr for his second of three sacks on the day. Packers take over, but the offensive struggles continue. Fourth and two in the red zone, Love, and that's nowhere close to Patrick Taylor. Turnover on downs. Green Bay would get a field goal and then with seven minutes to go, the Packers wake up. Jordan Love on fourth down gets into the end zone. Two-point conversion is good. It's 17 to 11. Then with three minutes to go, Love going to the end zone. And what a catch by Romeo Dobbs. That gives the Packers the lead as they would hold on for the win. 18 to 17, a huge comeback for Love. All right, over to U.S. Bank Stadium. The Vikings and Chargers both looking for their first wins on the year. First quarter, third and eight for the Vikings. And Cousins connects with TJ Hawkinson. But the ball is stripped and the Chargers end up with it. Another turnover for this offense. And LA took advantage of the short field. Justin Herbert to Joshua Palmer. In for the score, Chargers take a 7-0 lead. Second quarter, Vikings looking to get on the board. Cousins looking, has a man. That's Josh Oliver making the catch and scoring. We're all tied at seven. Vikings now in front, but Chargers on fourth down. Herbert connects with Donald Parham and LA goes into the half up four now 21 to 10 but on fourth down cousins is going to connect with kj osborne and he's got room to run up the sideline diving into the end zone vikings cut the lead fourth quarter now and it wouldn't be a viking highlight without justin jefferson making the grab nobody in front of him all the way in for the score his first touchdown of the season gives the vikings the lead but on the very next drive disaster strikes herbert going deep and that pass is tipped 
right into the hands of Palmer for a Chargers touchdown. Vikings had a couple of chances late, but with 12 seconds left, Cousins passes tipped and picked off to end the game. Vikings now start the year 0-3. And, and the Brewers are going to have to wait another day before clinching the division with the Cubs getting a win and the Brewers losing 6-1 to against Miami. Their magic number still sits at 1. Now, we don't think clinching will be a problem as they just need one win or one Cubs loss and the division is theirs. All right, that's all I've got for now, but be sure to come back at 10 to hear how the Packers locker room is feeling after that big win. We'll be right back. See the stories you missed or watch them again on our YouTube page. Or find us at news8000.com. While the training is done here on site, you are paired up with a trainer and they will be showing you all the different processes that we do here on site. If you have the desire to grow, we have the tools necessary and the training programs necessary for you to succeed. Stay big in your painting projects with 11% off everything at Menards. Ultra is an interior paint and primer in one that provides a clean, durable finish. Get a gallon for just $19.29 after rebate. Save time on your painting projects with grand distinction. It's a premium paint and primer in one that offers superior surface coverage. Pick up a gallon of grand distinction interior paint for only $32.89 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Southern fried food legends include hush puppies, fish, and fries. So Arby's made a $5 hush puppy breaded fish basket. A legend made a legend of legends. Arby's, we have the meat. <laughs> when Caroline has a cough, she takes Robitussin so she can have those one-on-ones again. Hey, Jim. Hey. Can we talk about your yoga breaks? Sure. Get fast, powerful cough relief with Robitussin and find your voice. Robitussin. This is a real person seeking a solution to a real problem. Hi, welcome to the Good Feet store. I am at a breaking point with my feet, knees, hips, and back. And then she was fit with Good Feet Arch Supports. I definitely feel the heel to toe walk. I feel less flat footed. I didn't notice any pain in my back. That's not an exaggeration. I definitely didn't think that something like this existed. Try them for yourself with a free arch support fitting at the Good Feet store. I started in the shipping department. What I like best about Pilgrims is the fact that if you put the time and energy in to the company and yourself, the company will acknowledge that and invest in you as well. Pilgrims is more than a job, it's a career path. All right, folks, let's break down your Monday here, starting off right around 60 degrees for work and school with that scattered shower and thunderstorm chance building in as we head towards the later part with the heat of your day on your Monday. This weather system is going to hang out here Tuesday, maybe even going on into Wednesday. Then that weather system is going to kick on out enter the nice dry and warm weather as we head towards the end of the upcoming work week, carrying on into the weekend. We want to thank you for watching News 8. We'll see you tonight at 10.